Hey Pisces, this is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly love reading, I think, if my cards would act right. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. You know I love you. You know I appreciate it. All right, you got Scorpio. You got the Martian showing up in your reading like bong, 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 bong. Which kind of says to me, another conflicted sign in this afternoon's readings. Yep, three of wands. Right? Because the death card definitely is a transformation and transition from light to dark or dark to light. Right? Uh, the emperor is the key decision maker, right? He's the power. He's the authority. He's also Aries. Um, with the knight of cups, you got love rushing in. You don't necessarily trust it. Um, it feels like this person is out to get what it, what they want, you know, not necessarily, you know, contribute to your life experience. Uh, that also could be a narcissist, um, or somebody coming in to take you for granted or take advantage of you. I do kind of feel like that's what you're trying to decide, right? But then with the king of pentacles here, who am I reading for Pisces with the king of pentacles, this is your person. Because this is not you. So it's almost like the way that they're coming in is is it's making there it is. It's making you uncomfortable. It's 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 not to your liking. You're like, whoa, there, Nelly. Right? You got the Knight of Cups. Look at that court. He's about to giddy up. You're like, whoa, there, Nelly. Like you coming in too hot. You need to slow your sh down. Yeah, you got the King of Pentacles and a Ten of Pentacles. And four, four of Pentacles facing. <sighs> yeah, it almost feels like you feel like somebody's coming in to take advantage of you or take take you for granted, right? With the Five of Swords and then also the Three of Pentacles, this could be some sort of work or business thing that either you... Somebody start trying to take advantage of you. And it could be related to work or business. And it could be your boss. It could be your job. This feels career related. Right? But let me start from the beginning. It's like just when you think it's safe to go back in the water. You got Scorpio there with the Three of Swords. Uh, the Three of Swords is representing. Do we want to get funky and say third party? Uh, no. I don't. I don't feel third party per se. I feel a group though. Right? Um, you could have been let go, let go of by a group, a group of people. Excluded, I'm getting here. Yeah, this feels like pain and heartbreak to me. Right? Because I'm looking at these cards and I'm looking at this death card and I'm like, okay, is this going them going into the darkness or is this coming them coming back to the light and I'm just here I'm just hearing this is them going into the darkness so Pisces I hope this is not your situation but it feels like you guys might have experienced some sort of exclusion abandonment neglect heartbreak as of late but it doesn't necessarily feel like a person it could be a person it could actually be a third party right but notification from this kind of I just got it notification of this you could have just found out and you could still be dealing with the effects of this heartbreak and pain, right? When I said I just found out, for a lot of you guys, yes, this could have been a layoff. For a lot of you guys, you could have just been notified that your person is not necessarily have been, has been as honest as you thought they were, right? But it's almost like you guys say, for instance, are stuck in maybe some sort of work business or, you know, could be a house could be, you know, you guys have a car and both of your names. I feel like there's some sort of legal contract that you guys are stuck in with this particular person. Could be a marriage at the end of the day. We have Aries and Sagittarius here, right? So this is basically saying before you make a final decision, just wait, wait. It's almost like allow the universe to bring you all the information before making a final decision. You know, this is the card of, you know, he's the king, king decision maker. He's the shot caller. That's Aries right there. He's the head of the Zodiac. Um, he's the fourth person that the fool comes to see. 
So he's going to give you the rundown on what to do, how to do it, and, you know, um, who who you need to do it with, so to speak. Definitely here with the temperance, it's, it's almost like women, women don't make that decision yet because things are still coming together. You know, it's almost like information and, and things are still in development stage or in development mode. So don't go crazy. Don't overreact. We know you're hurt and guarded and, you know, scared and worried and sad about whatever this is that's actually going on. Um, I just kind of feel like this was, um, you were blindsided for some of you, whatever this situation was, you were blindsided. And it, it really, instead of feel, feels like a love situation, it does feel like for a lot of you guys, you were just notified again that you could have been or are being laid off, right? With the three of pentacles here and the five of swords, it's almost like maybe I'm hearing you expected somebody to have your back, but they didn't, right? For some of you guys, this could have been a false expectation. You expected things to turn out in your favor, but they actually didn't, okay? Now, I love this, by the way, this is the most positive side of this reading, um, Pisces, is that you're going to be okay. For some of you guys, um, the reason why this is happening is so this can happen here. It's almost like for some of you guys, you could have been, if this is related to work and business, you're being kicked out of this position so you can get here. For a lot of you guys, you could have been kind of stuck. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to retire out. Universe is like, hold my beer. Mm -mm. We're not doing that. We not. You ain't spending 20 years at no job. So go on, and, go on and head out, right? This could be a severance pay. This could be another job opportunity that makes you happy and is, is incredibly long-term. For some of you guys... Yeah, you were being laid off for one position, but may work for a company where you can still apply within. And when you apply within, there is a more perfect position for you to be in. Okay. So I kind of feel like definitely Pisces, don't freak out. I know it was looking ugly and gray a little while ago, but don't freak out. All of this is happening because God, angels, and universe are trying to move you right? Transform you to that next, uh, next phase of your evolution. Okay. So, um, let it happen. Let it be. Don't fight it. Right. Don't fight it. Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys are still in shock and yeah, you're holding on, clenching on, you know, wondering why this happened. Why did it happen to me? You know, I thought I was producing good numbers and you know, everything was going okay. And what am I going to do now? And blah, blah, blah. And for those of you that this does actually resonate for, I actually thank you for watching this video because this absolutely says to me, don't freak out yet. You're still getting more information. You're still getting more information and un things are still under development. So don't freak out because your blessing is, is coming along. It's sitting right here. What I'm also being told to tell you too is the longer that you hold on, the longer you delay it. Okay? The longer you hold on to this is the longer you delay it. Okay? The next cards I will pull are Romance Angels because it's supposed to be a love reading. But let's see what they have for you. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, baby, Pisces. Follow that passion, baby. This has been humdrum. I mean, for a lot of you guys, you really didn't like this situation in the per first place, which is why you being kicked the hell out of it. Because we know there was an energy mismatch. Huh? Let go of control issues. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Uh, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let go. Don't try to hold on. It's scary. Don't get me wrong. It's scary. But we're sitting here telling you, more is coming better not only more is coming better is coming ten of, pen ten of pentacles represents longevity right so it's not only more money but it's more money for a long period of time <laughs> you deserve love you're lovable love yourself enough we know you we know you're hurt we know you're blindsided okay take care of yourself which is going to help you let go take care of yourself so you don't have to continue to wait too too long and just Jump both feet into this next opportunity. Card at the bottom, finances and career. Nope, it wasn't a love reading. It was love and career. It's love and career. I can't. 
<laughs> finances and career. Uh, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yeah. Let's, let's remove the word love, but financial issues could be a factor in your life right now, Pisces. Okay? So, you know, again, you guys are welcome to do whatever it is that you want to do. You have free will. But based on these cards in front of me, you're in a shitty situation right now. You've just been blindsided. You don't necessarily know what's going to happen, what it is that you're going to do. But the universe is coming in in spades and saying, look, I got you, Pisces. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for watch watching. If it does resonate, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Love you. Bye.